said, God, I want to talk to you about living untouched, invisible, and increasing all the time. There's a spiritual factor that the Father will bring to your life called a man of God. The reason why that's so important because during those moments, the Father's going to start talking to you more than ever. Your man of God is a conversation with God that you always wanted to unlock. Your man of God is a translator of words that God wants inside of your soul. The words of your man of God renews you, restores you. David said in Psalm 23 that he restores my soul, but David had a prophet in his life. We talk about how Saul anointed how Samuel anointed Saul, but Samuel also anointed David. David was anointed by Samuel. So there's a prophet in David's life. He's not just a king, but he has a prophet. And the prophet is actually helping him to be David. The fact that Samuel anointed David means that Samuel had power from God so that David could live out this story on earth. David could not live out this story without Samuel. If David never meets Samuel, he is a man with many dreams many potentials, but no manifestation of it. Saints, if you think about it, Samuel had David in his belly. Samuel had David in his belly. Think about that. Samuel's belly was carrying King David, not just David, but King David, David, the king, because because David is a shepherd boy. He's Jesse's son. But King David. He is second to none. King David. King King David. Is. Nobody's. Victim, nobody's slave. King David is the spiritual father of Jesus. They called Jesus the son of David. But Samuel is carrying not only King David, but he's Samuel is carrying King Jesus. Because if he gives birth to King Jesus, his spiritual father. You know that the spiritual father is giving birth to Jesus. So you see that Samuel is really more powerful than you know. But what is Samuel doing? He's ministering to the Lord. And that's another aspect of all of this. What is Samuel doing? He's ministering to the Lord. He's ministering to the Lord. And his life is sanctified from birth to only attend to the Lord's presence. And he's welcoming the Lord's presence to become untouched, invisible and increasing.
Samuel had authority over strong man demons. And if Samuel is the one that David runs to after Saul is attacking him. I'm going to say something that you never heard a day in your life. Samuel was wealthy. Samuel was wealthy. Ain't nobody ever preached that before. Samuel was a wealthy king. He was a wealthy man. Because a king, a, 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 a peasant can't be got a king. A king got to be got a king. Kings proceed from kings. So the fact that King David came out of Samuel, because he, he was carrying the anointing. He released, he created King David. If I anoint you, I create what comes out of me anointing you. If I anoint you to cook, every time you barbecuing, you're, you're operating in me. So if you disconnect and you still cook, according to the spirit realm, the cooking has no effectiveness on it. Now, Samuel is wealthy and Samuel got a prosperity power from heaven on him and he is rich. Remember when Saul lost his donkeys, he was saying, I need to, they were saying him and that other guy, they was like, we need to find some money to sow into Samuel. Cause everybody knew that Samuel was rich Saul. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. They knew that Samuel, everybody knew that Samuel was a place to sow your seed. If you need a miracle, if you need God to intervene, if you need the Lord to locate what you lost, because remember, he lost the donkeys. He lost the donkeys and so. While they lost something, they know that they should sow a seed into their profit to find and repossess what they lost. Saints, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this and you never heard this before. Do you know why none of Samuel's words fell to the ground? Because he never knew what it meant to operate on the ground. He was an eagle. He was always flying. So how could his words fall where he didn't abide? And because his words was always flying, everybody that received the words of Samuel was flying too. It said none of his words fell to the ground. What happens to a plane when it falls to the, if it falls to the ground it's like a crash, everybody dies. I'm not talking about landing. I said fall to the ground. So none of his words crashed. None. None. None of his words crashed. So think about this. Samuel was flying in the spirit. His words was flying in the spirit. And when David wanted to start flying again, because his situation with Saul was so critical. His situation with Saul was so was so depressing. Look what happens. He goes to the flying one so that he can fly again, so he can receive brand new wings. He goes to the flying one so that he can receive brand new wings. Now, let me say this. Samuel 
had all of David's wealth inside of his belly. King David, that person called King David, came out of the belly of Samuel. He anointed David and released him into his kingship. All of his wealth transferences was inside of Samuel. Invisible. 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 And when David wanted to become invisible, he goes in and hides himself underneath the covering of Samuel. David hides himself underneath Samuel because he wants to be invisible. He wants to be untouched. He wants to be increasing. Now watch this. King David's wealthy life that he lived on earth was all in Samuel's rivers. The, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Those rivers was in Samuel. And some people say, well, you can't say that because the Holy Spirit came after Samuel. Not really. The Holy Spirit didn't come after nobody. Duh. <laughs> the Holy Spirit was in Genesis. Duh. <laughs> The Holy Spirit, the Holy, the Holy Spirit was in Genesis. The, the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Duh. See, you listen to a theologian so long, they, they dumb you down. Oh, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit didn't fall until Genesis. It, the Holy Spirit didn't fall until the, 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 the book of Acts. Yeah, yeah, he didn't fall to the book of Acts, right? So whoever was on hovering over the waters was was somebody else that was on the Holy Spirit. Now, saints, I want you to hear this. Oh, I, I, I'm going to do a teaching on why did he first call himself the Spirit of God? And then he called himself the Holy Spirit. Why did he change in Genesis and change in the book of Acts? Why did he call himself something different? What was the purpose? Why was the Holy Spirit such a name needed? I'm going to do a teaching on that. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be powerful. Saints, look out for that.